Hello everybody, Carl again. Today I want to talk about my Harley Street 750 and I'm going to talk about installing a tachometer. So as you can see here it's completely installed. What I have done is I fabricated a bracket out of a two inch piece of angle bracket. So uh, let me take you in and I'll give you a closer look here. So as you can see what I did with the mount it was I opened, uh, took this bolt out, I stuck the angle bracket in and then I bent the bracket down it. Uh, this is the factory bend here. Let me just get a little pointer. So this is the factory bend, how it comes. So this piece here is two inches long, and then it bends down. And then what I did was in between the two bolt holes, I bent it again. And that way it gave me a spot to mount it. And what I was looking for is I wanted the gauges to be approximately level. The other thing I wanted was I wanted this display to be kind of lined up with the factory speedometer. The other nice feature is all I have to do is take this bolt out and I can actually remove the tachometer and you'll never be able to see that it was there. So this is the back of it. As you can see here, this chrome is the factory bracket. Here's the gauge. Uh, this is the wiring. This is the factory bracket that it came with. And then down here at the bottom, uh, what I did was I put a bolt right here and that goes through the factory bracket and then onto my bracket that I made. Now from there the wire comes down, I have it tied to the throttle and return cables and then it runs down here through the middle of the tank. It then comes down here behind the uh, fuel line which is this line right here. So then it runs down to the back of the coil and you can see this is the factory wiring harness here. Uh, this black harness and then there's a connector that plugs in right to the back of the coil. So I don't know if you'll be able to see but the factory wire comes into the bottom here. There's a little tab that you stick a flat blade screwdriver in and then poke that straight out. Pull the connector straight out. That'll then give you room to work to use the factory harness. And I'm going to take you inside and I'll show you where you make those connections. So when you get the tachometer it's going to come in a box like this and I'll put a link in down in the description where I got it from. You see the part number is 493374. In the box you get the tachometer. You'll get this clamp for a generic handlebar mount. You see it's just got a, I believe it's a half inch nut, and then it's got some rubber so you can fit different size handlebars. It also comes with a, another piece of rubber if you need a little bit more. However, on my handlebars, the way they're shaped, I didn't particularly care for the way it looked, so that's why I didn't use that. So the what I actually used is this. This is a two inch Stanley 90 degree elbow or uh, angle bracket strap, strap sometimes they call it. Um, I, I've always called them uh, two inch uh, angle brackets. Uh, you can see it's made by Stanley. So what I did was I took a just an angle grinder and I rounded over these edges here as you can see by the black sharpie. You have to widen this hole just a little bit to get it to fit through the factory bar nut. So what will actually happen is this is where it mounts to the existing uh, handlebar mount. So that's the bolt that I showed you earlier on the, the that is actually holding the handlebar on. It is bent down and then here in the middle of these two holes I bent this again that way. So what will happen is it comes up and then it goes over this direction here. And then that gives me a spot to mount the tachometer to which is what you saw earlier in the video. So that's the mount that I used for it. Now this is the directions that you get with them. I know they're not very uh, detailed, but there's only four wires. Uh, there's a red wire which is your on, a uh, blue wire which is for your lamp, a black wire which is ground, and green which goes to the negative of the coil wire. Now what I did was I actually extended my wire and I only used three wires. I, I tied the light wire, the blue, which is for the light, and the red, which is the ignition, to the same point. Because once I turned the bike on, I figured I could just run the light. That's how the, the bike is set up anyhow. Black is pretty self-explanatory, goes to ground, and then green goes to the negative of the coil. And I'll show you where I made those connections on the bike. All right, just a quick note. Uh, when I bought this tachometer, this tachometer is actually used for a dual fire ignition. And I thought that my Harley Street had that because if you look at the coil diagram here, it says that there's a power ion sense. The ion sense is used to detect misfires, to tell the ECM that everything's okay. And then there's a rear coil and front coil. And I kind of assumed that there, since there was two separate wires that what they were actually doing was firing the motor one at a time. 
However, after I put the tachometer on, it was only reading 600 RPMs at idle. And according to the manual here, it's supposed to be 1200. So I was looking online and I found uh, this page here, which is called a, a simple rev adapter for a single fire ignition. And it talks about that you use 200K resistors and two 1N4007 diodes, very common parts. And you actually make this circuit here. And so here's the coils, uh, the two wires that are leading to the coils run to the diode resistor network and then off to the tachometer. And this actually corrects that error. Uh, here's what here's what a, kind of a picture version looks like. You can see the two diodes and the two resistors. So anyhow, um, I just also want to mention here on the wiring diagram, if you don't want to tie into the ignition coil, you could come back to under the seat here. And if you look here, uh, this says rear ignition coil, front ignition coil. And then, of course, there is the main system power here, which is this orange and gray wire, I believe that looks like. So you could run the wires back to the seat and actually tie in there. So it's your choice. I uh, Just one other quick note, I want to make sure you guys can see this. Uh, on the engine, as you'll see later on, I actually put the ground wire right here against this bracket, in between this bracket and the coil, and use that lower bolt. So it's just a simple ring terminal that the bolt slides through and mounts. And this bracket actually ties to the cylinder heads on both sides, so I get a really good ground, and then that is actually how I ground the tachometer. So just wanted to show you that. Also, I'll put links for all this stuff down in the description. Okay, so as you can see, I have the tack adapter wired in. Uh, these, the gray blue and the green blue, are the front and rear coil. Uh, this is the diode and resistor setup going to the green wire, which runs to the tachometer. This white wire is actually running to my power or VCC, or this is the 12 volt power here that runs to the light and then also the gauge. Uh, and this wire here next to it, this light green and brown wire, I believe that is here, that is no connections at all. Uh, the ground wire runs here. See the ground wire right here actually runs to a spade terminal and then up behind uh, to this mountain bolt, uh, which connects to this metal tab. And then that runs over to the motor to get a good ground connection. Okay, so uh, there the wire harness is all tucked in. Uh, it's out of the way of most of the hot parts. You can still see the radiator hose here. Uh, just a quick note on these connections, I actually soldered them. Try to avoid using like butt connectors or splice connectors. With all the vibration in the motor, they just tend not to be reliable. All right, so I'm gonna get this button back up and I'll give the bike a start and we'll see what it looks like. All right, just a quick reminder. Um, here is the uh, circuit schematic. Uh, of what the what I actually had made. There's the tachometer with that green wire, the two diodes and 1K resistors, and then off to the uh, coils. And then as you see, they run to the spark plugs. So let's go ahead and give it a start here. So uh, like I said, the, this tack is actually tied into the on switch. So when I turn the key, you'll see the lights work, but not the tachometer. Once I flip the switch, the engine kill switch, you'll see it'll cycle and then it'll go to zero and we'll give it a start. And as you can see, it's pretty responsive. And so we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. Appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. Remember, hit the uh, thumbs up button down here below. It really helps out a lot.